Tonight, an unusual scene in a quiet neighborhood. Early this morning, someone found a woman dead near the corner of Dill Road and Bidwell Street in Suffolk. The woman had been shot right now. The search is on for the killer. 13 News Now reporter Ali Weatherton talked with neighbors who are concerned that this happened where they live. Early Monday morning. You don't think it will happen here, but it does. A Suffolk neighborhood became a crime scene. But something like that to happen in this neighborhood makes you wonder, like, what's going on with the, with the neighborhood now. Suffolk police say dispatchers received a call shortly after 4.30 a.m. Someone found a woman's body lying in the middle of the road. It's very shocking and surprising. Police got to Dill Road in Bidwell Street and found a woman had been shot. When I got up at 3 and I was up to 4.30 watching TV, I didn't hear nothing, didn't see nothing. Others who live in the area say the same. No one arguing, you know, no one uh, loud talking, nothing. Many think the shooting took place somewhere other than the neighborhood. Or maybe she was shot in the car and then dumped off over here. Everyone hoping police find the killer or killers. Now, if you know anything about this incident, contact the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. In Suffolk, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. Someone was found dead on the beach this morning in Norfolk. Police are investigating this as an undetermined death. They tell us officers were called to West Ocean View Avenue near Bay Dunes Drive. They found a man on the sand. He was unresponsive and not breathing. Medics pronounced him dead. Investigators tell us they do not suspect foul play. The medical examiner will determine the cause of death. Anyone who has information should call the crime line. Plans to reconfigure Atlantic Avenue at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront are getting some pushback. There's a proposal to turn the road into a cul-de-sac near the Cavalier Hotel. Aaron Lebo is live with more details on the proposal and why some people are against it. Yeah, David, a few weeks back, Virginia Beach Deputy City Manager told me that they were actually in the process of waiting to hear back from the state about whether or not this grant they requested was received. Well, now there's some council members that do not want this plan to even move forward. Today, residents we spoke to are split. I'm 100% in favor of closing Atlantic Avenue and making it a cul-de-sac. Traffic is bad enough during in-season as it is. And what they're going to do is just make it worse. Regarding turning Atlantic Avenue near 40th Street in Virginia Beach into a cul-de-sac and installing new traffic lights and patterns. The developer Cavalier Associates requested the city pay nearly $2.5 million to do this in order to accommodate new development in the area. Deputy City Manager Tom Leahy told me that's why the city applied for a state grant. The decision on the grant is up to the uh, state, both in the determination and the timing. But some council members say this deal should not be done. Council members John Moss and Jessica Abbott are presenting another resolution requesting to rescind this grant request. Abbott wrote on Facebook, wasting precious taxpayer funded resources on creating a cul-de-sac for the benefit of a private development is poor policy. And council is expected to discuss this new resolution tomorrow. The city manager tells me that if it passes, then they will no longer move forward with requesting this state funding. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, I'm Erin e. LeBeau, 13 News Now. Learning new information about a deadly hit and run DUI crash in Virginia Beach. A 35 year old man from Florida has been arrested and charged with DWI involuntary manslaughter and hit and run. He is accused of hitting and killing 73-year-old Maria Fox of Virginia Beach. The crash happened just before 10 o'clock last night on North Great Neck Road near River Road. After the collision, police say the suspect and the passenger in his car ran away, but police caught them shortly afterwards. The driver is in jail tonight with no bond. We have new information about the mental health of a Navy veteran accused of abducting a Shanty Billy from a local military base. We've learned Eric Brown is currently being treated at a federal medical facility in North Carolina. 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller joins us with recent court filings which reveal new details. Well, the new filings talk about if and how there can be a prison hearing to involuntarily medicate Eric Brown. A court hearing on that issue is set for Thursday. These records give us new insight into Brown's mental state and his situation at the Federal Medical Center. 
Last we told you, federal authorities found out whether or not a forensic psychologist believes the Navy veteran accused of abducting and murdering Ashanti Billy is mentally competent to stand trial, but that report was not made public. This motion, filed by Eric Brown's defense attorneys, quotes a sealed order on that topic. It says FMC Butner has been tasked with restoring Mr. Brown to competency, or at least placing him in treatment for a schizophrenia. The motion shows Brown is in a lockdown unit. He is kept in the same cell 24 hours per day. Lawyers write they've been told Brown never uses the one hour of recreational time he is allowed. The filing also includes this email chain between attorneys and the facility's chief psychiatrist. On May 16th, the doctor wrote Brown remains in a psychotic state. In this exhibit, one of the lawyers states he was told at the end of last month Brown is a danger to himself or others. The defense attorney recalls the conversation with a nurse at Butner, in which she said Brown had been put in chains to be brought out of his cell. When he was returned to it, Brown allegedly swung the chain restraint at the guard. According to the declaration, the nurse said later Brown did not look at her or do anything to indicate he understood what she was saying. And at this point on the federal level, Brown is only facing one abduction charge. Charlotte police charged him with murder, but that case has not moved forward just yet. Laura Geller, 13 News Now. An Amber Alert has been issued after a baby was abducted in Danville. Authorities believe seven-month-old Emma Grace Kennedy was abducted by her father, Carl Ray Kennedy. He is a registered sex offender. The 51-year-old is believed to live in Asheboro, North Carolina. State police say he has several distinguishing characteristics, including tattoos on both arms, a pierced left ear, and scars on his left arm and head. Police believe the two may be in a 2007 gold Suzuki Forenza, they could be headed toward Hampton Roads on Route 58. They could also be headed to North Carolina. So anyone with information is urged to call police right away.